Hey guys, how's it going? This is uh, Dusty Smith from the Cult of Dusty, and as many of you have probably already heard, I have been suspended for two weeks. Um, my account now has two strikes on it. Um, one more strike, and my account is gone. And uh, none of my strikes are for copyright violations. Both of my strikes come from basically people not liking my free speech. In my two videos that were removed, I did not threaten anybody. I did not call anybody any names. I did not incite violence on anybody. All I did in both videos was tell about my real life true story experiences. I mean, this is free speech in the highest order. And uh, both these videos were taken down and I have two strikes on my account. One more and I'm gone. My account that I've built up and you know, it's, I only have a little over 2,000 subscriptions now. I'm very proud of having 2,000 subscriptions. That's a lot more than a lot of people have. But you know, it's not anything huge at this point. But it, I have built it up, and so I take pride in that I built it up some. And so you know, it would suck if I got another strike um, and my account got taken down just for wanting to exercise my free speech rights. And I think my reaction to this whole thing is probably going to surprise a lot of you. A lot of you probably expect me to come on here and you know, flip YouTube the bird and cuss and rant and rave and. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do any of that um, because I have a real different outlook on it. For one, I'm kind of flattered. A little bit, I'm kind of flattered because when other people try to censor you, try to kill your free speech, you know, when these free speech haters start attacking you, then you know you're doing something right. You know, when you get flack, you know you're over the target, as the old saying goes. And so, you know, anybody who's anybody by now on YouTube has gone through the same problem that I'm going through. You know, so I'm in pretty good company. Seems like a, a lot of you out there who have had the guts to stand up and tell the truth about things, you know, you've been harassed and you've been false flagged, and, you know, and you've had your channels deleted and you've gone through exactly the same thing. And a lot of you have a very normal reaction, which is to curse and scream and, you know, flip birds at YouTube and, and get angry about it. But I think it's going to surprise you, uh, anybody that's watched any of my videos at least, that my reaction is going to be completely different. You see, I have a really different view on YouTube uh, than a lot of people do. I love YouTube. I love it. YouTube is incredible to me. It's an incredible tool. It has allowed me to do something I was never able to do on any other website. And I experimented with a lot of websites. I experimented with blogging. I experimented with Twitter, Facebook, MySpace. But YouTube allows me to do something that I was not allowed to do on any other website. And that is spread my memes to a large audience. And they have provided this service for me absolutely free. Um, so every single person that has subscribed to me, every single friend I've made through YouTube, you know, I would not have made otherwise. If it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't be here right now. If it wasn't for YouTube, there would be no Cult of Dusty. So the truth is, you know, I love YouTube. I love you guys at YouTube. And anybody who's watched any of my videos knows I don't kiss ass. I don't blow smoke. I tell it like it is. And I'm saying this not because I'm trying to suck up to YouTube, but because this is really and honestly how I feel. I love YouTube. So instead of cussing and screaming and flipping off YouTube, I'm going to try a different tactic. I'm going to try to appeal to your logical side. You know, I'm simply going to lay out a reasonable argument, uh, and I'm going to bring up a lot of the problems YouTube has, and then I'm going to ask you, the viewer, please mirror this video, spread this video to your friends. If we get enough people to watch this video, if we get enough interest in this, then YouTube will pay attention, especially if we're not cussing at them and screaming at them. If we're talking to them logically and rationally and calmly, then I think we have a very good chance of getting our issues addressed. So here I go. This is my open letter to YouTube. Hey YouTube, look, you're an amazing company. I know Google owns you and Google is an amazing company. What you're doing here is incredible. We appreciate what you've done. We appreciate all your hard work in bringing us this very wonderful website. I really do believe that YouTube is going to be an incredibly important part in the evolution of our society. You know, and really it already is. Um, anybody who understands memetics and how memetics works, how memes spread, really understands how important YouTube is in developing our culture. You know, it's a very powerful tool, so thank you very much YouTube for giving this to the world. But YouTube, I have bad news for you. You have a cancer. The cancer is called free speech haters. There are people out there, a lot of them who call themselves trolls themselves, who go around and try to censor other people's free speech. Now, if these people are offended, then they could just easily, you know, shut down their browser or go to another website or watch another video. But instead, they decide that they're so offended that they want to make sure that no one else hears the message either. They hate the other person's free speech so much that they want to silence them. And this is a cancer that is destroying YouTube right now. And it's a disease that YouTube must address. They must fix this problem. 
Now, I really believe that any rational person who watched my two videos that got taken down would see there was absolutely nothing wrong with those videos. Nothing in the world that would deserve those videos to be taken down if you truly do believe in free speech. Now, if you're a free speech hater, then you probably feel differently. And there is a lot of free speech haters out there. And you know, the funny part is, most of these free speech haters, they seem to be the exact same people with the support our troops bumper stickers on their cars, the exact same people who continuously tell us about how the troops are fighting for our freedoms, yet they spit in the face of every single troop who has ever died because they believed in our freedom. And the most disturbing part of this is these free speech haters are being aided and abetted by YouTube themselves. By YouTube not fixing their ridiculous false flagging system that they have had complaint after complaint after complaint about, by not doing something about it, YouTube becomes the free speech haters' best friends. And also, YouTube, this really makes you guys look like hypocrites. Because we all know that you're owned by Google, and right now Google is fighting with China over censorship rights. But if Google really cared about censorship, then they should really stop the censorship on their own sites, you know, before going after the Chinese government. You know, you guys should lead by example. If you really care that much about censorship, if that's really an important issue to you, then let your actions speak louder than your words. You know, do something about it. Stop the censorship on your own sites. So look, to all of you out there in YouTube land, if you're tired of this, if you're tired of the censorship taking place, it could be you next. It really could be you. So look, here's what I'm asking. Every single one of you out there in YouTube land right now who is watching me, if you have a YouTube account, please mirror this video to your account. Uh, please send this video to your friends. Please post on your Facebook. Please post on your Twitter. We need to get this video out there. We need enough people to watch it to where YouTube has to respond to it. If you want the censorship to stop, then we have to do something about it. And it's really, really, really important that we do something about it. Because YouTube is way too important of a tool to let these small-minded, scumbag, free speech haters decide what we can all watch. I mean, do you want to live in a world where somebody else decides what you can watch? I don't. I don't want to live in that world. And if you don't want to live in that world either, do something about it. YouTube must fix this problem. And now. For the Cult of Dusty, I am Dusty Smith. And for all of you out there who are mirroring this video and supporting free speech rights for everyone in the world, I thank you very much. Logic. When it's time to judge myself.